Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your next three months tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So Libra, what I've done is I've taken your yearly 2024 tarot reading and pulled out the relevant cards. We're looking at January to March 2024, so we have the Two of Cups January, the Four of Swords February and the Lovers March. We're going to pull some additional messages or additional cards by month, look at the overarching messages as well as any individual cards because a lot can happen in one month, let alone three in different areas of our life. So we have the Eight of Cups, January, Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Hierophant. Let's see what we have with the Four of Swords in February time. The Chariot, <clears throat> the Eight of Cups, the Emperor. Let's see what we have with the Lovers in March. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. The Moon. The Hermit. And we have the Six of Swords. So I'm going to pull some tea leaf cards by month, um, just as additional messages. I'm going to choose them because these cards fall all over the place with me. <laughs> so let's see what we have for the next three months for you, starting with January. January, February, March. <clears throat> All right, we have I, <clears throat> psychic ability, trust your intuition. February, we have tent, temporary situation. And in March, we have horseshoe, good luck. Well, that's lovely. So Libra, let's have a look at your cards. Two of Cups. So Two of Cups, <clears throat> when we're talking about emotions and feelings, the Two of Cups represents my bond between two people. It can be friendship, uh, somebody who you bond with. It can be very positive in terms of love, romance, relationships. I think that this is where, in an existing relationship, there is an opportunity to turn something around. Um, I think that there is a temptation that of walking away from a relationship because it's just not walking, working for you. But again, the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant, I feel someone is wanting to um, have the opportunity to turn something around with you and asking you to have faith in them. Now, the Hierophant can represent long-term committed relationships, marriage as well, but it's not limited to that. It can actually be about talking to a spiritual advisor, a mentor, a teacher as well, to help you come to some kind of conclusion or decision in that basis. So you might be walking away from somebody or considering that. They might be walking away from you. This is a scenario here where I think that something has likely happened coming into this reading um, to cause you to want to walk away. And it feels like this is an opportunity to turn something around, you know, and sometimes we just have to surrender trust or ask for advice when we need it. But again, the Hierophant, the psychic ability here, you're going to be very strong in terms of how you feel instinctively about a situation here, Libra. So just understand that in terms of whether you can reconcile with this person, whether you want to stay with this person or whether you want to move in a different direction. <clears throat> And again, in an existing relationship, this is where you're thinking, can I overcome it? The emperor can be somebody who is wanting to take control of a situation that can be you. Uh, this could You could also be dealing with an emperor, generally somebody who is more older, wiser, could have wisened up from a situation as well. 
but they're offering love. So they're wanting renewal of a relationship. And you need to take a step back to think about this, whether you can overcome the issues between you and or move, and move on from it, you know. So this is what's presented to you in February time. The lovers, again, an important, this is uh, somebody who, you know, you fit together with perfectly, just like a jigsaw, you know. We have these healing energies here. So again, the moon and the hermit, the six of swords, <clears throat> there is an opportunity here, just surrendering and trusting your intuition. And it looks like whether you heal this, uh, there is a relationship at some kind of crossroads, and it's whether you heal this and say, okay, let's give it a go, let's put it behind us, I'm just going to surrender and trust that I'm moving forward on that path, you know, and just hoping that everything's going to be better. There is healing available, but it's going to be, it's going to take time. Just bear that in mind. This is not an overnight thing. And I think you're fully realizing that because nothing is certain, you know, but instinctively you're just moving in the direction that you feel you need to. For others of you, this can actually be about detaching from a situation and embracing healing. So you're going to be confronted with some significant choice, which is the lover's energy. So this can be in an existing relationship, Libra. This can be that kind of scenario. Now, for others of you, this, for those of you who are single, who are coming out of a relationship, because again, two of cups, you know, um, the eight of cups walking away from uh, someone, you know, because it wasn't giving you what you needed. It wasn't everything that you wanted for whatever reason, whether you were let down or whether it just wasn't enough. But sometimes things happen for a reason. Again, divine timing and orchestration, spirit telling you to walk forward and have faith because it might well be that there is somebody who is significant to you in a new relationship. Now, this can be friendship. It can be somebody who you bond with at work. It can be any kind of situation here. But it feels like there's an opportunity to start new love, really kind of like January to February time. This is about the heart opening up and new joy being offered to you. So there is a lovely energy here with this is about overcoming your reservations, doubts, fears and just going for it. It's a very, very positive energy on that basis. <clears throat> and even when we see, again, the hermit, the moon energy, this can actually be where you are. You might be still healing. You might be still dealing with some kind of issues, but it's not stopping you from moving forward, you know, with somebody here. So this can be very positive in terms of new love as well uh, throughout this reading. It could also be potentially of a potential of an ex returning. Somebody who you walked away from could potential, potentially return in March time and ask you, can healing take place? If you have met somebody new here, Libra, it could also be somebody might be returning into your life at that time with a view to start up a relationship again. So you might be presented with a choice on that basis as well, because the this can be, you know, a choice between, you know, uh, even two people, you know, so this is what I'm seeing here. So that's what I'm seeing in terms of love, romance, relationships. Let's have a look at money, career, finances. The energy here with the Two of Cups, it can also represent somebody who you bond with or who you have a, a really good connection with. Now, we can get instant connections with people that we meet, can be in interviews, can be in meetings, can be in business, camaraderie, like-minded souls, kindred spirits. You just know, you just bond with that person. This can be a very significant energy on that basis. It can also represent someone, an offer or an invitation being extended in business, career, finances. Um, so very significant on that basis as well here, Libra. Uh, but it feels like a, a significant, the potential of a significant person. The Eight of Cups is walking away from somewhere because you're not getting what you want anymore. And it's interesting because we have the missing cup here, you see. Something is missing here, but come February time, however this manifests for you, and like I said, this would be the same in, in the relationship scenarios that I've described for you. The Ace of Cups can be emotional renewal and rebirth, but you can see it's almost like finding that missing cup. So this is the energy here. You're walking away from something here. 
uh, a workplace, a situation, because I feel that maybe something is offered or invited to you. And again, Wheel of Fortune, good luck, good fortune. Moving forward in faith could even be asking advice from somebody, but really trusting that spirit has your back and is pretty much bringing something into you that is good luck and good fortune for you, that is bringing a positive turn in events, maybe even helping bring uh, to bring positive change. If you're walking away from something that has been disappointing, a letdown, because um, sometimes with the Eight of Cups, we just walk away because we're not getting any more out of it. And the longer that we stay in a scenario, the less fulfilled we are. It's a kind of an energy of diminishing returns, so to speak. But we can also feel that when we're disappointed, when we're let down, when we're hurt, you know. So however this scenario is for you, I feel that spirit is bringing something into you. And again, the chariot uh, is a card of victory, triumph and success. Again, this four of swords energy can just be, oh, thank goodness for that. It can be that sense of release and relief. A lot of the time, the Four of Swords can be sometimes when we need to take a step back, you know, for whatever reason. It could be in relationship terms. This can be about taking care of yourself, taking a breather, taking a little break, sometimes taking a step back to see the way forward in scenarios as well. But this feels like just that sense of release that that change is happening for you in a very positive way. You might even be taking a little break before you start something new or start on a new path as well. Because the chariot represents there is victory here. The chariot is a card of winning, triumph, victory over challenge. Now, sometimes we also say, you know, I, I like this place, but I'm not getting any more out of it. Sometimes it takes willpower to bring in the changes and overcome our own barriers, comfort zones, and, and make it happen. And this can be that very positive energy as well. There is victory, triumph, success, but it can't be about moving on from a place, you know, on that basis. To new joy. The Ace of Cups is a path, a heart opening up to new joy. So it's very, very positive in terms of new happiness, new joy. Uh, being on a path where you see real fulfillment and contentment down the line. So this just feels like something that's very connected to your heart and soul. You know, I know deep down that I have to move forward and, and, and move on, you know, and walk away from a current situation, but because I know there's new joy here, but, you know, sometimes it just is overcoming our own inner barriers and obstacles as well. So this is that kind of energy here. But the Ace of Cups can also be linked with things like creative industries and opportunities too. It is very, very positive in terms of um, writing, publishing, media, arts, entertainment, you know, uh, culture. Uh, you understand what I'm saying. Expressive industries. So this is very positive on that basis too, but not limited to it. And the Emperor can be somebody who's making it happen for you. The Emperor is... It can be a CEO, MD, somebody who might represent an organization or company, for example, who may well be bringing this new joy into you. Emperor in business is very, very positive in terms of a key decision maker. And again, this could really tie in with the Two of Cups. You know, somebody who is important, somebody who you bond with, you might be hearing back from them, you know, and this gives you an opportunity to walk away from a scenario here. So certainly January, February time, I see that happening. That's really what I'm seeing. I'm not really feeling, again, the Six of Swords can be, again, being in that transition period, especially if there's notice periods. Um, but I'm not really seeing anything. Again, the lovers, the other thing with their business career, the lovers can represent partnerships of some kind as well. So as can the Two of Cups. So it could well be an opportunity to join a partnership, um, collaborate with another person, start a business. It, this would be a very positive energy. Because again, this would be deep down. I know this is the way I need to move forward and I just need to surrender and trust. I don't know where this is going to go, but I know deep down that I have to move forward in this direction. And that can be the energy here. And you're being told there is an element of good luck, good fortune with this. So very lovely energy. Good luck. I mean, we have luck energy in January. We have that in March as well for you. So very positive indeed. So additional messages, Libra, for you. The the chariot and the, and the four of swords 
It can also represent overcoming challenges and difficulties in any area of life. So this can be um, things like health areas. So if there is some kind of health issue or health area that's a, that has affected you in some way, or you're ringing in the changes because, again, it could well be mental, physical health, or the fact that you're just too tired to stay where you are. For example, we could ring in the changes with the Eight of Cups if there's just too much travel, if there's too much, if there's long working hours and you don't really feel like you're, you know, enjoying life the way that you want to. You don't feel like you have a work-life balance. It's about doing what you need to do to bring things back into balance here. And I feel that's what you're just doing. Certainly being in Libra energy, that's that's natural to you. Libra is all about nice, you know, happy life balance in all areas. So this is a very positive energy in terms of health. And there's levels to that, but it would be a very positive energy on that basis, as is the Hermit. Hermit and the Six of Swords, these are also very good healing health energies. The Hermit can also represent um, a healer, becoming a healer. Very positive also in terms of somebody who you might be, you know, consulting. This can also be somebody who gives you sage advice. So very positive on that basis here, Libra. And the moon energy, the moon energy is very much linked to our intuition. We don't always see how we how to move forward in situations, but you do. It's almost like the answers come from within in March time. The guidance comes from within. You just know how you need to move forward in a scenario, even though there's uncertainty in terms of how something's going to pan out. This is just the energy of surrendering and trusting that the directions that you're moving in March time are the right ones. And you're being told there is luck here. So if you are faced with some kind of choice or decision here, it feels like you're finding the right way forward here. And the moon is a very positive energy in terms of hidden blessings. We don't always see how things are going to pan out. We just have to surrender and trust, you know, but this is that kind of energy here. If there are hidden blessings here. So a strong sense here, Libra, that you you might not see it straight away, but you will, you know, in time, things will be revealed to you. So this is the energy here. Sometimes we just have to surrender and trust our instincts in choices, decisions that we make about partnerships, about relationships or things that affect those. And those are the real messages. In, in February time, I think there is an additional message here of just take care of you. If you have been exhausted, if you're feeling tired mentally, physically, uh, if something has affected your health in some way, um, this is just the energy here of take time out. Just take a little break, pamper yourself, put yourself first, go to your quiet space, you know, do what you do to bring that sense of re-energizing energy your way. And that would be the advice here. Yeah, another message is that I have, the emperor can be a key decision in any life area. So it can be very positive in terms of business. It can also be very positive actually in January, sorry, in February, to do with any significant important decisions from an authority figure. So if you're dealing with some kind of authority figure here, um, can be a judge in a legal scenario, would be the final decision maker in terms of like government institutions, authorities, uh, establishment, bureaucratic processes. The chariot is representing victory here. You know, could even be a sigh of relief if that's the case for you, opening up to emotional renewal and rebirth. So that's what I'm, I'm pulling out of that reading. I'm going to pull you some additional messages, Libra. Let's start with a fortune card for you. What do we have for Libra? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guide. Message for Libra. What do we have for Libra? We have Lion, number 16. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the Lion and charge ahead magnificently. I'm going to pull you a colour card. The colour might resonate for you. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. We have bronze, number 14, 
strengthen your body. I'm going to pull you an energy card, so let's see what we have for you, Libra. For the next three months, January to March 2024, we have Remembrance number 38. The frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in a body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. And Libra, finally, I am going to pull you a final affirmation. So let's see what we have for you. Message for Libra. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. This card has come out so much for these suite of readings. We have what defines us is how well we rise after falling. Don't limit your challenges, challenge your limits. So this is what I'm saying again with the chariot. Chariot can be if you feel you need to move in a particular direction. It's about doing it anyway, regardless of any obstacles, barriers. This is about charging ahead, you know. It can be very positive in terms of eyes on the prize, victory, triumph, success. But even charging ahead in terms of moving from what from A to B, you know. And there's definitely an energy here also of travel even. Uh, the Chariot, the Six of Swords, this can actually be about moving from A to B, practically. Either moving on from an issue and overcoming it, embracing healing, but also very positive in terms of um, moving from physical locations, moving or relocating home, moving or relocating jobs. Uh, this is very positive in that respect too. So we have Don't Limit Your Challenges, Challenge Your Limits, because there is an energy of overcoming you know, in February time. Opportunities don't happen, you create them, yes. That's what I have for you, Libra, for the next three months. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful next three months and I will see you next time.